<laughs> okay, so um, I'm just going to start from basically where we started last time. Separator pit is over there and uh, the building is smack behind me. So let's get walking and let's get showing. Okay guys, so I'm just going to spin our way through the buildings and as you can see there's a lot of steel down now so all the cubicles are in place. We've got some big place for the um, cow brushes. Um, you can see the actual feed rail a bit better now so we've got the actual feed rail in place. Um, I know last time it was just posts but now you can see feed goes along here, cows stand over here um, and these are locking yoke ones but I will be doing I will be doing a uh, more detailed video so I'm going to do probably three videos um, I was planning on doing two but Mr Pemberton over on his YouTube channel has convinced me otherwise so he asked a quick question on the comments of the last video asking about why we chose De Laval and not the other one so I'll do a video more into detail of that but so far, or for now, we're just going to whiz through the building really quickly, show you that. The second video will be a super duper detailed one where I literally sit down, or not even sit down, I'll just go by every single point, so all of the cubicles, all the mattresses, and why we've done everything um, in more detail. And this is just a quick run through of everything. Okay, so walking back down through the, through the building now, um, as you can see up top, we've got our command center, as I like to call it, um, which is where all the, the, the actual computers are. Um, and we're going to walk down through and you'll be able to see coming into shot now is the actual robot sat in that position um, we have got some scaffolding up because the guys are still working up top there um, but here here she is this is this is the robot herself all shiny all new um, and yeah it's actually facing actually we're in the right direction so cows will walk in this way get milked walk back out this way um, we've got automatic foot baths um, and then this is just a, a second uh, shedding gate i'll explain more about that uh, in the more detailed version now wandering on background just in this little it looks like a dead area this is actually where our pressure washer three phase pressure washer will be mounted on the wall we've got our water heaters for the both robots will be in here um, the opposite side will be IBCs and chemicals. Uh, we're going to walk in here. It's a bit dark in here. We haven't got the lights yet, but this is the actual the robots themselves. Um, so you can see the nice big arm, which is basically um, the thing that attaches your your cups. Um, and then there's a lot of valves and <laughs> the inner workings of it. I do again. I'll do a bit more detail detail video on this. Um, we've gel coated the floor as well, so it's nice and easy to clean. Coming out here. This is quite a cool area. This is now all finished. Um, because I know last time this was all basically gravel and stone and it wasn't looking very good. And But the guys have been working hard and they've got, as you can see, got a lot of concrete down um, behind me. Then we'll, as I walk backwards into this shedding, away from the shedding area, we're gonna go into basically basically the uh the race system so we've we've designed a race which is more like a roundabout so as you can see here imagine gates along here um you'll follow down um you'll follow through and then it would be a big roundabout into our big um fancy tipping crush um to make foot trimming a lot easier and um there is a video out there of that one already now moving on through again um again there's the there's the other two robot stations or VMS stations, as we like to call them. And then again, back down through, cubicles are all in place, mattresses is all in place, um, all of the, the pipe works in place. Um, I, will, I will be doing a uh, video of the actual, like where everything is. Again, this detailed video is gonna be a lot more detailed. I'm just trying to run through it, just to give you a quick update. Um, and I will be hopefully getting a more detailed video out very soon i will be doing that very soon i promise that um i'm just going to show you quickly into the actual the dairy where the bulk tank or silo in our case is going to be a milk silo um so just coming through into this little building as you can see the guys are still working hard there's a lot of electrics going on um but this is again all gel coated around the sides or, or fiberglass um and then we got a nice big eco, eco drain, um, so we can, you know, easy for washing. Upstairs, 
There's all the vacuum pumps up there. I'll take you up there again. On the actual... Lights come on. <laughs> um, yeah, the actual detailed video. And then on the outside, there's again the feed bins are down there. You've seen them before. This is the dairy. But otherwise, that is a quick run through. I think that's probably a seven, eight minute video. And um, I will definitely be picking out another one. This one will be probably more like 20, 25 minutes. Um, so if you want to be, if you're interested in why we've done things and what we've done, definitely check that video out. Um, if you're just here on interest of how the farm's doing, that's fine as well. But hopefully you're having a smashing day. I'm having a good day. So yeah, I'll um, catch you later. If, if there is any questions, comment section, I do try to um, answer them. I'll probably try and answer them in more of a video because I know it's a big thing and there'll be some more detailed questions that should be answered. But otherwise, have a cracking day and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.